mainstream to mainstream out there, and I know some of you guys are out there listening, we need to a little have a little talk about how the mainstream media treats the professional wrestling fans. There's a right way and there's a wrong way. And today I heard both versions. First example, the right way. I was listening to the uh, Trib Live radio around the middle of the day. Some of you may know uh, this feller named Justin Labar does himself a little show on there every week um, talking about professional wrestling. But uh, given the newsworthy nature of the professional wrestling industry over the last uh, week or so, um, the uh, host beforehand, John Staggerwald and Ken Laird, dragged uh, old Justin Labar in for the end of their show before they got into Justin Labar's show itself. Uh, and the topic of conversation was the Pittsburgh Pirates, and they're uh, apparently adopting the Yes chant as one of their go-to celebrations in the dugout. Uh, some of you may have seen this. I think we've linked one or two things on the uh, Facebook page, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I know I've seen it pop up. I haven't I haven't got to see any footage of it again, and I've sadly not had the opportunity to watch a game yet this season. Um, at any rate... Um, it was clear that uh, Mr. Staggerwald and Mr. Laird are not the types who watch professional wrestling on a regular basis, if at all. Um, so they were kind of trying to uh, understand exactly what the Yes chant was all about. And Justin, of course, was doing his best to explain it to them and explain who Daniel Bryan was, and explain why people like Daniel Bryan, explain where the Yes chant came from. Anyway, Staggerwald and Laird were very handled it the right way, you know. Even though they aren't professional wrestling fans... You know, even though they may take a somewhat lighthearted approach to it, don't we all sometimes? Um, they were not belittling to the professional wrestling fans and how they uh, spoke about it. And it was a nice conversation. And it was a, you know, it was a good thing. That brings me to the wrong way to treat your professional wrestling fans if you're in the mainstream media. And this morning as I was driving into work, I was listening to 93.7 The Fan in their little morning show. And Greg Giannotti and Josh Miller are having themselves a little conversation that uh, veered its way into professional wrestling. And I've met Greg Giannotti, and he's a swell guy. And I've never met Josh Miller, but he sounds like he's okay too. So, Greg, if you're listening to this, I mean this in the nicest sense as I go down this path. But, Greg Giannotti, you said something on the radio this morning that really upset me. And it upsets me a lot as a member of the mainstream media. Anytime I'm pitching a professional wrestling-related story, it really grinds my gears, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, the thing you said, Greg Giannotti, was that you stated, and I may be paraphrasing a bit here, that um, if you were to meet a stranger or just someone you knew, if you were to later find out that that person was a professional wrestling fan, Mr. Giannotti, you would have a lower opinion of him that you would begin to look down on him because he is a professional wrestling fan. And uh, Greg, and like I said, uh, he's a nice guy. We've talked to him. I met him a time or two, and he's a cool guy. But uh, Greg, I just want to know, want you to know that whenever I hear about a person who looks down on a professional wrestling fan, well, that changes my opinion of that person as well. You know, no one ever looks down on people who read comic books or play video games. We accept that. You know, you watch too much Star Trek, people accept that. But for some reason, we have to live with this stigma as professional wrestling fans where we're afraid to tell other people, where we're afraid to talk about it as if uh, we have something to be embarrassed about, as if there's something to be ashamed of. Well, I know uh, some of you guys are a little bit younger than me. But I am too damn old to be embarrassed to be a professional wrestling fan anymore. That train has passed a long time ago. And I am not ashamed. I'm a professional wrestling fan. And I'm a professional wrestling connoisseur. And if that makes Greg Giannotti or others think that I'm a lesser person, that makes them look down on me, well then that is their loss. That's basically all I have. Wow. I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> um, Let me well, you about I don't this. know where to start. Hold on. But Eamon in the, in the chat says, while I agree with Matt, Greg's opinion is what normal people think, sadly. And, I, and he would disagree because there is a stigma on people who read comic books or play video games. 
I Amen, don't really agree. I know you're just a little it's kid. Less, it's Amen, less than I know it you're used a little to kid. be, but it does still you exist. Listen, you listen yeah. to your dad. You listen to your mainstream media daddy. There is nothing <laughs> to be ashamed of. You don't have to be embarrassed to be a professional wrestling fan. Just like you don't have to be embarrassed that you watch The Walking Dead. You don't have to be embarrassed that you watch Game of Thrones. Well, you watch wrestling. And I think and that's what you choose to do with your time. There's nothing to be ashamed of. And I think I think that the, the, there's a all around cultural shift where it's okay to be the geek. It's okay to be because the nerds and this is a broader kind of conversation. But because um, a lot of people are nerds and geeks, and that just means they're very into Star Trek, video games, uh, you know, uh, comic books, I, and that seems to be becoming more the norm than not and it, and it sounds like the these guys like your you know guys on the fans are the ones that aren't getting with the <laughs> program with things what i'm sorry my cat just tried to climb up my chest and failed <laughs> <laughs> there you go there you go um and he's saying well game of thrones and walking dead are mainstream though uh they're are they yes mainstream they are. They are. They became mainstream yeah, Just they like are. wrestling became no, mainstream. That, Game of Thrones minute. and Walking Dead are mainstream. And I want to say, well, how I'll many? Like, how many?